I'm hiding under the covers, staying comfortable. Under here, I can smell myself. <laughs> My underarms. I find it to be a rather comforting feminine smell right now. Pretty sure the moon is still in Virgo. Preparing to make a shift. I am expecting my Mensa's arrival. Oh. I'm assuming the full moon will be when I'll Blake. <laughs> And I'll break like a floodgate. And then it will be time to red tent and be of service to the collective in that way. <sighs> Seeking comfort every way possible while also struggling fighting against myself you know forcing myself to give myself permission to relax and chill and just be instead of just constantly feeling like I gotta go do something I can't lie though fear is there fear is there of worry fear right the devil creeps in and tells me to be worried that I'm not going to have enough money that I can't eat, that I can't afford to eat this week, or I can't pay rent, or I can't afford kitty litter this grocery trip, or all that. And in some levels, it's right, you know? Because I recognize that I don't fully have Team Trina Mason right now. I recognize I have a lot of viewers. However, a lot of the people latching onto me don't really love me. Some of them say that they do, and they want to, <laughs> they just don't know how. And I'm kind of here to teach you how, but sometimes it's painful for me to have to say, hey, you're not doing it right, <laughs> you know? And sometimes it just feels better to just be alone than to be teaching somebody how to be and how to act. <laughs> and sometimes we just have to retrain ourselves how to act and how to be and how to feel, etc. Hmm. We try to take away the responsibility to your own emotions. Acting like you have no control. And while there is some truth in that, at the same time, your thoughts can change your thoughts. However, your thoughts and your feelings also paint a story, a narrative, words of their own. So all of that is occurring at the same time. shifts inside my body attempting to just be with them as I feel them occurring a lot of them for me are happening in the center of my chest and in my stomach there's been like a lot of stuff going on inside the head you know a lot of pressure a lot of doubt and questioning and like studying up against what I'm up against type thing <sighs> My stomach keeps making all these funny noises. Mm. Part of me wants to press on my stomach and make it do more, but part of me wants it to just relax and be happy and peaceful. Oh, I 
have all of these emotions and all these motions that I'm going through, all these energies in motion. Not always most pleasant. And then I get confused. I'm like, do I tell you how bad I'm suffering? You know? <laughs> and tell you that I need help right now? Or do I only come out when I can shine? And then do I wallow in silence and in misery and in darkness? All the other stuff that occurs behind closed doors. It's just been a struggle of figuring out what to do with it. What to do with the energy. What to do with yourself. How to handle the people. How to continuously show love. It's a job. And I'm a soldier. And every day I go to war. And I fight the fight. And every day I nearly lose. You know? Because that shadow wants my soul. It wants me to give up. It wants me to say that I'm weak. It wants me to believe all the stories that I am shown. It wants me to be distracted. I must recognize this. And utilize my skills, my talents, and my time and my energy, most of all. Most wisely. It's painful because one can only learn through experience. And I've come to the realization that I realized a long time ago, mind you, that, well, people are energy vampires. And they will absorb and take whatever you give them. And then they will, like, make judgments about it. You know what I mean? And they'll chew it out and spit it out. You know what I mean? It's all the essence. No matter what. And everyone has a divine process and a divine order. I keep nearly yawning. But I also kind of caught the vibe like I might barf. <laughs> oh, God. I'm trying to take care of myself and my body and my feelings. But, yeah, it's not easy, especially, like, when things that make you sick taste good, you know? And then it traumatizes the body because it tricks you you know like your tongue is telling you one story like yeah this tastes good this sugar or whatever it is that we're consuming and then like yeah and then the body punishes you later and it's like mm -mm, you know you don't messed up right <laughs> so that's occurring Oh, I cannot stress the emphasis on my hunger and my desire to feel comfortable. That's it. <laughs> no amount of money can make you feel comfortable, okay? <laughs> no matter what anybody tells you. <laughs> no matter how many pillows you have. <laughs> like, it has to do with everything inside of you. And I... Let me, let I, the I am that I am, be the sacrifice, the human sacrifice that tells you how much I suffer. <laughs> and I hide. Oh, how I hide. Oh, the coldness. And all the things that made me hard. That made me, me. The things we try to mask over and not see. This was the real me. <sighs> oh, man. Oh. <laughs> wow. I feel like I just held my own weight for the first time ever. <laughs> as weird as that is. Or if, like, that's even the right words to paint what just happened. But, like, I just felt, like, all of my own um, female embodiment energy for a moment. Which is weird for me because I have always identified with more masculine qualities and been more of a dominant, right? Or, like, masculine. <laughs> oh. Man. 
it's all this weird energy things that are happening because of um, the Libra energy that's coming, trying to pull us into balance. But it's going to, you know what's happening? What happens right before you go in balance? You get a little bit all whack, right? Like, that's what happens. Like, I'm thinking of, um, like, vis like to give you a visualization, I'm thinking of, like, a, um, like some type of meter, right? And it's, like, electronic, and it goes up and down, or kind of like an odometer. And, like, I'm seeing, like, frequencies, basically. <sighs> I feel limited in the information that I can give you. Like, one, like a lot of information is secret information that like, you know, you're not supposed to know about. Which is, and that type of information is the stuff that's supposed to be whispered. And some of you just like got everything on blast and you wonder why spirit's attacking you. <laughs> oh, there's many different levels of spirit, of God, of I am. <laughs> Sometimes a comedian, um, other times a lover, many times a powerful teacher. Oh, I'm basically doing a guided meditation right now under the covers and I keep going deeper and deeper into myself when I'm being shown and feeling most of all feeling and feeling these states of beings and those are whoa <laughs> you know and um somewhere that i just gave myself permission to go was um frankly my children when i went there for a moment i can feel the soul of the woman that i will that i will bear Ah, oh, I can feel her in me very strongly. <laughs> oh, and I, I wonder, I definitely wondered, it's funny, let me say this out loud, I wondered if this is why my menses hasn't shown up yet. <laughs> I'm like, you're like three days late, little girl. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I have a light heart, so I can make light of it. But, like, I'm still upset. Like, I don't feel so good right now. And, like, I don't feel like I have a lot of support. Like, I don't feel like there's a lot of people who really, 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 really care. There's very few people who are actually sending, contributing, that actually sincerely want to make sure that I'm eating. <laughs> like, I know that's screwed up, but that's, like, the best way to put it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I can't eat prayers, guys. <laughs> Excuse me. I know that God will provide, okay? I just get scared. I certainly get scared. And, like, yeah, it'd be nice to have a, a stronger fellowship. Yeah, to feel like that there's people in my life that really care and that aren't conditional lovers, that they truly unconditionally love, adore, and appreciate me. And that, my friends... It's painful to say, <laughs> but it's a rarity. It's more so a pain of um, the lack, okay? Like you've allowed yourselves to turn black-hearted, if you will, you know? Like... <sighs> I'm so frustrated. <laughs> I feel like the races have been lied to. And for generations, you've been stripped of your own dignity, of your own pride. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's no wonder that you feel so ashamed in such a disgrace. <laughs> That's just kind of what comes with the territory when you walk these walks and you come from these lineages. <sighs> you got work to do, soldiers. And I know a lot of you are on the same journey as me, which is why you're even listening to me right now, man. <sighs> but man, if you can afford to buy yourself a $10 drink, like or, uh, like, or even two drinks, right? <laughs> Going out. I think you can send me 10 bucks and be like, thank you. But like... 
you know, I mean, like, I feel like I shouldn't even have to explain myself, you know what I mean? Like, if you're listening still right now, <laughs> like, you obviously feel like you're getting some kind of value out of me. You get something out of me, right? Can you give me that credit? And therefore, like, maybe you can then, if you can accept that, like, I'm good for something, that, like, you can recognize I'm good for, like, getting something back in return for what you just got from me. And, like, if I have my way, can we please just have it be equal? <laughs> like, I feel like that shouldn't be shady business, but it feels like I'm, like, it makes me feel like you're making me feel like I'm asking for too much. Saying that I just want sincere equality. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, your ego. Your ego gets so mad. I think I need to go live and channel some of this, this wild information. I love you. I'm gonna I'm gonna send this out here live first and then I'll come. I love you. Bye.